Okay, a little extra help here with uh, subtraction of fractions. Same denominator, but the first fraction is not enough. Let's have a look at the kind of question I'm looking at. Here we go. 3 and 2 fifths. I'm subtracting uh, 1 and 4 fifths. Okay. Now, as I've said in the previous video, we don't seem to have enough here. 2 fifths take away 4 fifths it isn't going to work. So we're going to have to change one of these holes into some extra fifths. Now, in a previous video, uh, one or two people were unsure. So let's have a look at this. We've got three and two fifths. Okay, I tried to make it look like fifths. They're not perfect, but let's imagine that those are fifths. Now, that three and two fifths, I want to take away one. I can easily take away one, but I can't take away four fifths. I haven't got enough. So the idea is that we turn one of these whole ones, one of these whole ones, into some extra fifths. And we'll do that by chopping it up. There you go. And how many fifths do I get? I get an extra five. Okay, so instead of having three whole ones and two fifths, I've got two whole ones and five fifths. The two that I already had, so that's seven fifths altogether. There we go. I've turned three and two fifths into two whole ones and seven fifths. How did I do that? Because I chopped this whole one up and made it into five fifths. Plus the two fifths I already had and I've got seven fifths. Now, I can actually go back to my original question and it's easy peasy. Two take away one is one whole one. Seven take away four is three fifths. So, whoops, lazy. there we go. Okay, so I hope that helps. If this isn't it enough to take away that then change one of the whole ones by chopping it up. In this particular case we've got an extra five fifths but if you're chopping it up into something like sevenths you'll get an extra seven sevenths. If you're chopping it up into something like ninths you'll get an extra nine ninths. So let's have a look at one more example. Here we go. Five and two elevenths take away three and seven elevenths okay now here again at two elevenths I haven't got enough to take away seven so what am I going to do I'm going to chop up one of these whole ones now if I chop up one of those whole ones I've only got four left but if I chop one up how many elevenths am I going to make I'm going to make an extra eleven elevenths plus the two I've already got so that gives me thirteen elevenths now go back to my original question Instead of saying 5 and 2 elevenths, take away 3 and 7 elevenths, I've got 4 and 13 elevenths. It's exactly the same amount, I've just written it in a slightly different way. Now, take away 3 and 7 elevenths, 4 take away 3 whole ones is 1 whole one. 13 elevenths take away 7 elevenths is 6 elevenths, and there we go.